Hey, it's Saturday evening out here at the old barn. Not much more to lean to anymore. Had a pretty good day. Quite a, an eventful afternoon, if you would. I, uh, it's funny about these old vines. They'll just take over a place, won't they? Tried to grow some, probably wouldn't happen, but had a lot of folks worried about these being poison ivy, these five leaf vines that we see so prevalent. Found out today from my aunt and doing a little research, it's a uh, Virginia creeper, it's not poison. That's what's all over these pine trees mainly. Well, <clears throat> clearing all this brush, these vines and, and all, we've had a lot of burn piles and it's been dry and we've been real careful with water hoses and monitoring rake lines and all that, really being, being prudent about that. Do most of the stuff around here ourselves, me and Jordan, and help a couple of folks along the way. But uh, had a series of unfortunate events this afternoon, if you would. Hey, Susan, Alicia, how are y'all? So uh, I was out in the chicken yard hooking up some more water lines. It's hot, and poor chickens, they're doing fine, but uh, just trying to give them some more water than have two or three waterers working, which supplies them, but I thought I'd give them a few more, so I was rigging that up. And I set a little weed pile on fire right there by the fence, back where I burned everything else. And uh, the other day I was trying to clear that thatch <clears throat> for the garden, and it was dry. And man, no matter how much I'd try to get the fire started, it'd just go out, it just wouldn't burn. And it was dry. So set that little weed deal, deal on fire, and I'm in the chicken yard about 50 foot away. And I heard a little pop. I'm like, mm -hmm, that don't sound like weeds burning. So uh, came out and my big brush pile was in full flame. That was fine. And looked out and we had a little a little pasture fire starting. And I'm like, okay, now we got a problem. As y'all can see behind me, we had a problem. <laughs> so I hollered at Jordan and he come running with the water hose. Uh, well, I didn't have it hooked right there, but it was in reach. Turned it on, we pulled it, and we had a coupling on it. Well, that busted loose. And in the in the heat of the moment, literally, we went to a different water hose. But because the coupling busted, we didn't think it through, and that was water pressure coming out. So the, the other water hose that we had hooked up, plan B, if you will, didn't have any water pressure. So I went to beating it with a shovel. It didn't work out quite like old Jerry Clower <laughs> in his story. But... uh Thank goodness no livestock, no structures, nothing was done. And, and uh wanted to bush hog this whole thing, but this wasn't what I was planning to do. But uh, it got scary there for a moment. And about five minutes in, I realized it wasn't big, but it was not tall, but it was wide, obviously, if y'all ever had to deal with a little brush fire. So I met some good folks from the Nacogdoches Fire Department this afternoon. Um, those old boys rolled out here pretty quick. And of course, within 10 minutes, it was out. Just needed a little water. I couldn't get none to it. <laughs> Everything I had wasn't, wasn't getting there. But they put it out in pretty quick order, and now we have a easier way to find the chickens. They get out here on this, that black and white, I'll be able to find them quick. But no, everything's fine. Just, uh, just a little scary moment. <clears throat> Y'all ever... <laughs> yeah, we did get it out. It, it all worked out. But uh, good... Good folks, we're just outside the city limits for those of you who don't know where it's at, so that was a blessing. I called and, you know, as a guy, you're like, ah, I can get this thing out. Nope, sometimes you gotta just call it. I'm glad I did it. I got here about probably five minutes before it hit that barn. I was back there, uh, have a water spigot out there. I turned that one on with a hose. It wasn't working. It all went back to that one that we left on with the coupling, running full blast, taking all the pressure. But uh, I'm pretty cool in a crisis, but that one, uh, I guess I wasn't as cool as I needed to be and thought it through. But uh, everything's fine. I did get the garden broke up. We've got to rake out the, the rest of the grass there. And uh, Jordan's got some seeds planted in some old terracotta pots over here on the old, old well, waiting on them to sprout. <clears throat> but all is well here on the old place. Mom and Dad brought the old stereo over. And I asked him about the history. I remember growing up with it. And y'all get to see that soon enough. It's an old cabinet type. And he remembers buying it the first year after they were married. So, uh, that should be about 50, 51 years ago on that. I believe so. And, uh, said they listened to lots of records on it. Yeah, thanks, Nacogdoches Fire Department. 
I, uh, I was talking to him, and of course, all apologetic because you feel like you inconvenienced. I mean, you do. I mean, you, you got to watch yourself, but I feel like we're pretty safe. But uh, I was talking about one old boy. I said, well, I guess that's uh, all the burning I'm going to do this year. And he looked around, and he said, well, it ain't going to hurt nothing now. There ain't nothing to catch fire to, <laughs> to spread. I'm like, well, I guess that's that's a good point. <laughs> so now I've got a good good burn pile area, right? <laughs> hey, Brenda, how are you? Ken, let me let me do roll call here. Hey, Chris, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Donna. Justin was off today, so he didn't get to get in on the fun action behind me there. <laughs> I was uh, stepping and fetching with that shovel. What's ironic is I just pulled down all my fire beaters, and that's actually what I set on fire, and they they got me. I've been using those old weeds to batten back the fire here on the brush pile, and. Uh, set them on fire and I said well we'll show you we'll just burn the pasture up okay well I still won <laughs> oh man Let's see well hey Bruce how are you buddy Phil both of y'all good to see y'all on y'all can see y'all catching up we had a little excitement in the pasture fire today but that's just a little less bush hogging we'll have to do now I wouldn't have chose it done that way but it's done <laughs> I bet you it'll be green for too long, won't it? Chickens right outside their roots, that'll be good. They was outside ranging. Of course, I had the gate open when I was working and the pen came out of it. And uh, old Al went to clucking and they came a running. <laughs> we almost had barbecued chicken. Didn't even mean to. <laughs> oh, well. All right, well, we, uh, I worked over this morning with my aunt in in town and i'm uh, gonna go out in the country now and uh, my other aunt <coughs> has got a garden out there and needs a little help with so we're gonna waylay our plans for now and he's out there spend a little time with her talk about a pretty place i wish i could show it to you but um there's no privacy issues but there's just no signal out there and that's kind of a blessing you don't have to worry about bothersome with phone calls or all that she's got wi-fi there in the house but that place is 200 years old, beautiful, beautiful home. Some of the first settlers of Nacogdoches in Texas even had that property. And boy, it's pretty, it really is. But a uh, big place, bigger than this. And she's got a challenge at 80, keeping up with it. But we all pitch in and help. It always looks good out there. I'm gonna go out there and help her, Jordan and I, with her, with her garden and uh, visit with her a little bit. But just, uh, I guess the takeaway from this is no matter how much in control you think you are on tasks around the place by the time you least expect it, that's when it happens. So uh, stay vigilant and uh, don't be scared to call for help. I'm glad I didn't. I thought I was making a mistake by calling them, but not so much because after I called them, that thing, there was no way I was gonna shut it down. But a couple of tanker trucks and some good old boys that know how to put out a fire got it done pretty quick. Thanks again to Nacogdoches Fire Department for sure. All right, y'all have a good uh, good Saturday evening. We'll be in Huntington tomorrow at uh, Pastor Franken's church, and visiting with mom and dad, and looking forward to a uh, good family time tomorrow as well, celebrating our faith. Hope y'all do the same in the way you do it. Give honor to the one that put all this together. I know I will. Y'all have a great week. Make a difference, and we may check in tomorrow. If not, it'll be Monday. All right. Be the light. See y'all later.